Can Arduino measure RMS AC voltage of 220 volts directly from the outlet? Well, not directly, but yes, it could. And no, it won't be using a bulky transformer, a big full bridge rectifier, a big module like this one with an integrated transformer on it, or something similar. Because we will measure AC RMS values using a small module that I've just found on the internet. And yes, the module might be big, but the chip that is using is very small, and that's all what I need. I'm making this video because I want to add RMS reading of high voltage to my multimeter, but also keep it safe and very small, because if you remember, the PCB for that project was very small. So this should be an interesting tutorial, so let's get started. Hey guys, PCB Way is sponsoring this video and let me just tell about their services. For example, look how awesome their prototyping PCBs are. And you can get this for only $5. They are so professional and they will make your project work a lot better. And to order such PCBs, you only need a few minutes on their website, where you can select any configuration that you want for your boards. Along with that, you can also order the SND stencil for soldering the components using solder paste. And you can also use their services for flexible PCBs and create some unique projects. And if you want to make your project start to finish, you can get the PCBs assembled together with the mold injected part or maybe 3D printed metal parts or other CNC services, all with PCB Way. What's up my friends, welcome back. The Arduino could measure analog values on its analog pins from A0 to A5. But the values could go up to only 5 volts, otherwise the Arduino would get burned. Also we want RMS, not just a simple analog read. I want to measure 220 volts AC directly from my home outlet. Connecting high AC voltage to the Arduino is very dangerous and should never be done directly. So before we go and use the module that I was talking about, let me tell you that usually to measure AC voltage with an Arduino, we use a transformer. Because in that way we can separate the dangerous high voltage AC from the 5 volts low voltage of the Arduino. And then we have two options. We can add a voltage divider or maybe an operational amplifier. Or maybe both. With the voltage divider it will be something like this. We have a divider between the output and another divider from 5V of the Arduino in order to add a 2.5V offset so we could measure both positive and the negative sides of the AC wave. And this is not that precise and is affected by the resistor tolerance. So a better way is to use an up amp because in that way we can add a good offset and we don't affect the input signal at all. Instead of using this bulky transformer, well for example this other module has all that, but smaller. As you can see it has a smaller transformer. And the ratio of this one is of 1000, and 2 mA of current value. It also has an operational amplifier, so all we need to do is to connect this to the Arduino and to the voltage that we want to read. The connection would be something like this. And this would be the code. Every 2 milliseconds we make a reading, and since the main outlet is of 60 Hz, that is a pretty decent sampling rate. We make a few measurements. And then we calculate the root mean square and print the value. And you have this code and the connections below. So connect the Arduino to the module and an LCD screen. I upload the code to the Arduino and give it a test. And there we have the voltage on the screen, and the value is pretty close to the correct one, as you can see on my multimeter. But this module is still too big for me, because have in mind that this is the PCB for my new version of the Arduino 2 hand multimeter, which by the way, stay tuned for that. So I can place a huge transformer on this PCB. That's why I've ordered this other module. And I know that the size of the module is close to the other module, but if I were to use only the components, they are very small. Just a few resistors and capacitors, a potentiometer and an up amp. The MCP6002 is a low power amplifier good enough for this purpose. 
and this module comes with the Arduino library, so download it from below and install it to your Arduino IDE. And the code is so simple. Just use this function and indicate on which pin you connect the module, and let's say pin A1. It has to be an analog pin. And the other values are for calibration. So connect the module to the Arduino like this. And I also add the LCD screen so we can see the values. Connect high voltage to the module and be careful working with high voltage AC. Download the code from below and run it. As you can see, the value it reads is not correct, is 750 volts, so we need to calibrate it. So using a commercial multimeter, measure the RMS value, which here in Spain should be around 230 volts. To get a calibration, we need to use this formula. The real measured value, which is 230 volts, multiplied by the initial calibration in the code, which was set to 523. Then all divided by the value on the LCD, which in my case was 748 volts. We get the new calibration value and we add that to the code. So add that value here. Now we run the code again and there you go. That easy we can measure RMS values of high voltage AC. If you also add a current module such as this one here, you could go even deeper and calculate the power factor, attenuation and much more. And this module is based on Hall effect, so it will stay insulated from the high voltage. So guys, the module works great, so I will change my PCB and also add the same circuit as on this module. So my next version should also be able to measure AC of high voltage. Obviously working with high voltage, we should also add a fuse and other safety features, as any good multimeter has. As for the circuit, as you can see on the module, from the high voltage input, we have a voltage divider with 4 resistors, and the amplifier has a potentiometer for fine adjustments. I want to reverse engineer this module, and maybe post it on my website. And you have the library on GitHub if you want the code. So guys, these were some methods to measure AC voltage with an Arduino. Using an external ADC of 16 bits would increase the resolution even more. So my next multimeter will also be able to read high voltage AC, but I have to be careful. I hope that you like this video and you have learned something new. If so, give me a like or comment below. Thanks again and see you later guys. Hey, so one more video that ends, I hope that you like it. Okay, so listen, if you want to buy my merch, my t-shirts, you have the links below for my shop, and I promise that I will make more designs. And also maybe you would comment below which one you like more and what more designs you would like to see because in that way I could start designing them and post my new t-shirts. So thank you for all the support and I'll see you in the next video.